Immune response to viruses. Viruses are microscopic infectious agents that cannot reproduce by themselves and survive inside a host cell, forcing the cells to produce multiple copies of them. There are large number of diseases caused by viral infections. Both the inert and the adaptive immune system acts against viral infection. In the inert immunity, the physical barriers like the epithelial cells of the skin and mucosal lining of the gut does not allow easy passes of the viruses inside the cells. There are again many phagocytic cells that can destroy the viruses in the inert immune system. If the viruses are successful in overcoming the first line of defense, the adaptive immune system comes into play to eliminate the viruses. Both the humoral and the cell-mediated immune responses play a significant role in eliminating the viruses. Viruses also develop various strategies for the destruction of the host immune system. Therefore, viral infection depends on the ability of the viruses to overcome the host immune system. Inert Immune Response to Viral Infection The first barrier to any infection in the host system is the epithelial surface of the skin and the lining of the gut. They provide a difficult barrier that could not easily penetrate it by the pathogens. In addition to providing a physical barrier to infection, the epithelia also produce chemicals that are useful in preventing infection. The inert immune response to viral infection is mainly through the induction of interferons. Interferons can prevent viral replication by inducing an antiviral response. Virus infected cells have double stranded RNAs which are produced during viral life cycle. These double-stranded RNAs can induce production of interferon alpha and interferon beta which activates natural killer cells or NK cells. NK cells are the first cells to fight against viral infections. Interferon alpha and interferon beta are also produced by macrophages, monocytes and fibroblasts. Interferon alpha and interferon beta can induce an antiviral state by binding to their receptors. Binding of the interferon alpha or beta to their receptors gives signals to the cell to express many genes. One of these gene products is an enzyme 2'5' oligoadenylate synthetase or 2'5'A synthetase which activates a ribonuclease RNAs L that degrades viral RNA. Other gene products also have roles in inhibiting viral replication. Another gene product is a specific protein kinase called double-stranded RNA-dependent protein kinase or PKR which inactivates protein synthesis and thus blocks viral replication in infected cells. Binding of interferon alpha or beta to their receptors on NK cells also induces lytic activities which make the NK cells very effective in killing virus-infected cells. Interleukin-12, which are produced very early in the inert immune response, can also enhance the activities of NK cells. Humoral Immune Response to Viral Infection Most viruses expresses molecules that will bind to cell surface molecules in the host cell. This helps in attachment of viruses to the host cells. For example, influenza virus binds to sialic acid residues in cell membrane glycoproteins and glycolipids. Rhinovirus binds to intercellular adhesion molecules or ICAMs. 
an Epstein Barr virus binds to type 2 complement receptors on B cells. Antibodies, particularly secretory IgA, play a significant role in masking these binding sites on the viral surfaces. In oral polio vaccines, the vaccine induces secretion of IgA by the mucosal epithelial cells which effectively blocks attachment of poliovirus along the gastrointestinal tract. Viral neutralization by antibodies can also occur after the virus has attached to the host cell. In such cases, antibodies prevent viral penetration into the host cell by binding to the epitope which are required for penetration. Sometimes, if the induced antibody activates the complement system, it can cause lysis of the virions by the formation of membrane attack complexes or MAX. Antibody or complement can also agglutinate viral particles and function as an opsonizing agent to facilitate FC or C3B receptor mediated phagocytosis of the viral particles. Cell mediated immune response to viral infection. Antibodies alone are not able to eliminate the virus once infection has occurred, particularly if the virus is capable of entering a latent state in which its DNA is integrated into host chromosomal DNA. Once an infection is established, cell-mediated immune response is the most important mechanism for host defense. In general, CD8-positive cytotoxic T cells and CD4-positive T helper cells are the main component of cell-mediated antiviral defense. Activated T helper cells produce a number of cytokines including interleukin-2, interferon gamma, and TNF that play important role in defense against viruses. Interferon gamma acts directly by inducing an antiviral state in cells. Interleukin-2 acts indirectly by assisting in the recruitment of cytotoxic T lymphocytes or CTLs precursor into an effector population. Both interleukin-2 and interferon gamma also activates NK cells, which play an important role in host defense during the first few days of many viral infections until a specific CTL response develops. In most viral infections, specific CTL activities arises within 3 to 4 days after infection, peaks by 7 to 10 days, and then declines. Within 7 to 10 days of primary infection, most virions have been eliminated parallel to the development of CTLs. CTLs specific for the virus eliminate the virus-infected self cells and thus eliminate potential source of new virus. Viruses can evade host immune mechanism. Viruses have developed different mechanisms to evade the host immune response. Though viruses have small genome size, they can express various proteins that can interfere with both the specific and non-specific host immune response. The advantage of such protein is that they enable viruses to replicate more effectively within the host cell. Viral infection is marked by induction of interferon alpha and interferon beta in the inner immune system. But some viruses have developed strategies to evade the action of interferon alpha or beta. For example, hepatitis C virus can overcome the antiviral effect of the interferons by blocking or inhibiting the action of PKR. Another mechanism used by some of the viruses is to evade the immune system is by inhibiting the antigen presentation by virus-infected cells. 
One of such viruses is the herpes simplex viruses. HSV1 and HSV2 expresses an immediate early protein called ICP47 which inhibits the human transporter molecule TAB required for antigen processing. Another strategy used by the viruses to inhibit antigen presentation is by downregulating the expression of class 1 MSC shortly after infection, thus reducing antigen presentation to CD8 positive T cells. Some of these viruses are adenoviruses and cytomegalovirus or CMB. Viruses like CMB, measles virus and HIV have also been shown to reduce levels of class 2 MSC molecules on the cell surface and thus reducing antigen presentation to CD4 positive T helper cells. Another mechanism of evading the host immune response is by evading the complement mediated destructions. For example, vaccinia viruses produce certain protein that binds to C4B and thus inhibiting the classical pathway of complement activation. HSB have a glycoprotein component that binds to the C3B complement component and can inhibit both the classical and the alternative pathways. A number of viruses can escape the immune attack by constantly changing their antigens. One such example is the influenza virus, which changes their protein code continually, resulting in frequent emergence of new infectious strains. The absence of protective immunity to these newly emerging strains leads to repeated epidemics of influenza. Human immunodeficiency virus or HIV, the causative agent of AIDS is another virus with high antigenic variation. It is suggested that HIV accumulates mutation at a rate of 65 times faster than the influenza virus and thus is the major hindrance in development of vaccines against HIV. Another mechanism of evading the immune response by the viruses is by causing generalized immunosuppression in the host system. Among such viruses are the paramaxiviruses that causes mumps, the measles virus, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, and HIV. Some viruses cause immunosuppression by directly affecting the host immune cells like the lymphocytes or the macrophages and thus destroying them by cytolytic mechanism or by altering their functions. In some other viruses, immunosuppression is caused by cytokine imbalance. For example, EBP produces a protein called BCRF1 that is homologous to interleukin 10. Like interleukin 10, BCRF1 suppresses cytokine production by the T helper 1 subset, resulting in decreased levels of interleukin 2, DNF, and interferon gamma. In conclusion, I would like to say that viruses are infectious agents that can cause many diseases. When viral infection takes place, both the inert and the adaptive immune response comes into play to eliminate the viruses. In the inert immune system, the physical barrier of the epithelial cells and the mucosal lining does not allow easy passage of the viruses. The inert immune response to viral infection is mainly characterized by induction of interferon alpha or beta that establish an antiviral state. NK cells are the first cell to counter viral infection in the inert immune system. Viral infection is also counteracted by the humoral immunity which comprises mainly the antibodies secreted by the B cells and the complement proteins.
secretory antibodies can neutralize viruses and prevent its attachment to the host cells. Even if the virus attached to the cell, some antibodies can mark the epitope on the viruses which are required for viral penetration. Complement proteins on activation can cause lysis of virions or agglutinate viruses. Cell mediated immune response, particularly the CTL cells, also play a vital role in eliminating the virus infected cells. Viruses also use various mechanisms to evade the host immune response. Thus, it is how effectively the immune response works and how efficiently the viruses escape the immune attack that determines 